is entitled in case any of those chemtrail denying ass clown moron idiot fuck stains doubt my credentials for telling you what the motherfucking sky looks like in Van Shithole, Washington. In case any of those idiots who deny chemtrails doubt all of my claims about how I know what the fucking sky is supposed to look like in the area that I live, in case any of you retarded shitballs wonder, well, you don't wonder, you don't have the brains to wonder, but assuming some chemtrail denying little puppet follower, bitch boy, cop, fireman, soldier, fuck you, has the fucking brains one day to wonder, just to wonder anything at all, and go, what do these people think that the government's poisoning them? Oh, <laughs> they're stupid. <laughs> well, gee whiz, I don't know. Let's take a look at the sky. Who could conceivably hope to ever tell the difference between a sky like this and a sky with a million lines across it? I mean, you'd have to be some sort of Einstein level super fucking genius to know whether or not the sky was clear and blue or whether it was filled with stripes. You'd have to be way smarter than these people. Way smarter than the lady in that truck. Way smarter than that guy. Probably smarter than the guy on the motorcycle too. Look up, motherfuckers. What's it fucking take? You know? Does Satan have to show up appearing in the flesh somehow and sign in front of you a paper saying that, yes, I control the United States government. Yes, we're poisoning you. And yes, it's to make you sick and get die and have miserable lives. And you think, oh, but my life's not miserable. Well, there are different levels of miserable, aren't there now? No human being can exist in perpetual, constant, unabated anything. It's impossible. Everything cycles. You cannot be in perpetual, constant, permanent agony. Or you will cease to notice it. It will become the same and not be agony anymore. Though I couldn't say you'd like it. You cannot exist in that state. It's impossible. Where was I? I freaking lost my point there. No. Um, it's impossible. It's impossible. People can't live like that. There's a cycle and a flux to everything. I don't know. I lost my point. Except this one. You see that cloud? You see those other clouds? You see that tree with the cloud silhouetted? You see that airplane going through the sky right there? Gee willikers. See how high it is? That's about how high the airplanes are that are on their way to and from PDX. They're never at any other heights. They're always at that height, around that height, doing their banking maneuvers. They don't leave PDX immediately go to 20,000 feet and then start leaving a stripe across the sky. I've lived here 45 fucking years, you morons. 45 fucking years. And I've never once seen a jet do that at PDX and you could go over there and sit there all day long to this day and you will never see one do that because they don't do that. You know, anybody that defers judgment of what they see with their own eyes in favor of what their commanding officer says or what their television tells them or what they're officially supposed to endorse is a spineless fucking piece of shit and has no business calling themselves an American. I went to school in this country. They taught us it's our responsibility to watch our government and to speak out when things are getting all fucked off. And what does our brave, brave fucking troops do? Nothing. Sit on their fucking hands while their fucking families are poisoned and they're sent to kill people on the other side of the world who never posed any threat at all in any way ever to you. My name's Ron Layton and I support this message.